Matt recognized Polk Lawson and Syl Richards the moment they came into the saloon. He didn't know their names, but he remembered their faces. The two rode with Clyde Payson on the day Payson killed his parents and his sister. He stared at them, holding the stare until Polk became aware. He looked over at Matt. You staring at me, mister? Yes. I don't like being stared at. Matt didn't respond, didn't look away. Did you hear me? I said I don't like you staring at me. Matt still didn't respond. You got something stuck up your craw, boy? Poke, what's got you all riled? What do you mean, what has me riled? Look at him, Seal, this son of a bitch just keeps staring at us. Now Seal turned away from the bar as well so that both he and Pope faced Matt. Why are you staring at us? You were with him that day, weren't you? Both of you were. We was with who? Boy, I, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You were with Clyde Payson and Garvey Lair. You are getting me riled up, boy. What about Clyde Payson and Garvey Laird? You know where they are? Yeah, I know where they are. What's that to you? I intend to kill them. Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> you? You're gonna kill Payson and Laird? That's right. What makes you think you can kill them? Why, you're so young you still got snot running out your nose. How old do you have to be to kill someone? What do you mean, how old do you have to be to kill someone? That question don't make sense. Say you're nine years old and a group of low-life, yellow-bellied bastards come up on your wagon and they kill your ma, your pa, and your sister. A hint of recognition began to flicker across the faces of Poke and Sill. And say you grab your pa's rifle and get into the rocks, then kill two of the bastards who killed your family. Nine years old, too young to kill. Son of a bitch. You're that brat! That's right. I'm that brat. Poke and Sill made desperate grabs for the guns. Matt waited patiently until Poke and Sill had cleared the holsters with their guns. Seeing that they had the jump on Matt before he even started his draw, Poke and Sill smiled in triumph. The smile was short-lived, however, because before they could bring their guns to bear... (laughs) The smiles were replaced by looks of shock as the two men realized that they had been shot. Poke tumbled forward, Sill fell backward... Both men dead before they hit the floor. Matt held a smoking pistol in his hand for a moment, then looked around the room to see if anyone else was about to challenge him. Son of a bitch. Willie poured himself a whiskey. I ain't never seen nothing like that. You're as fast as Angus Boone. Ain't nobody as fast as Angus Boone. I believe this fella is. Better not let the gravedigger hear you say that. Where's Clyde Payson? I don't know. I admit he does come in here from time to time, but I ain't seen him in a couple of weeks now. Matt put his pistol in his holster, then turned his back to the bar and faced the others in the saloon. All wore looks of amazement. My name is Matt Jensen. I'm looking for Clyde Payson and Garvey Laird. Mister, maybe you didn't notice, but we don't welcome the law in Gahina. And we don't help him out none either. I'm not the law. This is personal. Even if we'd know where he was, ain't nobody gonna be dumb enough to tell you where to find him. I figure if he wants to get himself found, he'll let you know where he is. Clem Tyson and Bart Ebersaw watched the whole thing. Sitting at a table in the back of the room when it started, Clem started to get involved, but Bart reached out to stop him. This here ain't our fight. This is about something that happened before we ever joined up with Payson. Yeah, but don't we owe? We don't owe anybody nothing. A moment later, seeing the ease with which Matt put down both Poke and Seal, Clem was glad Bart stopped him. Uh, what do we do now? Now we go see Payson and tell him this young punk is after him. I thought you said this wasn't our fight. Payson's willing to pay us to take a hand in it, and it'll be our fight.